in a family's home. The mother is preparing lunch. The knife falls regularly on the cutting board, making a clanking sound, but the mother is missing a finger on her left hand. She is working with some inconvenience. On the other hand, the father is sitting on the sofa reading the newspaper. His hand is also missing the fingers. Maybe for this family, this is not a big deal. I can guess from the look in mom's eyes. The two of them have a very good relationship. This is probably a harmonious family. Meanwhile, their daughter was jumping rope on the road outside the house. Suddenly, there was a sound of music behind her. The daughter turns around and looks. An ice cream truck was coming slowly from the distance. The daughter looked at the ice cream truck in awe. Involuntarily gulped. Everyone was like this when they were little. Right? Soon the ice cream truck stopped in front of my daughter. As if waiting for her to visit, my daughter couldn't suppress her excitement any longer and run home. She ran towards the kitchen. She stared at her mother with big, watery eyes. I could guess from the corners of her kind mouth. Mom knew what her daughter was thinking, but she continued to chop vegetables. Seeing this, the daughter tugged on her mother's coat. Soon the mother gave in. She squeezed her daughter's face, gently pressed her head. Then she cut her daughter's headband with a knife. The daughter obediently put the headband, tied it around her mother's little thumb. The skillful action can be seen. This is not the first time. Then the mother chopped off her little finger with her knife. The blood splashed on the daughter's face, but she wasn't afraid at all. Picked up her mother's finger. She ran outside the house and gave it to the old lady on the ice cream truck. She smiled, put her little thumb in the jar behind her, and handed out a popsicle. My daughter ate her dream popsicle with gusto. She also looked forward to the ice cream truck coming again. The story doesn't end here. How can only my sister get a popsicle? The little girl also silently walked to the kitchen. She tugged on her mother's coat, as if to say I want to eat too. Just this once. In the end, there was a long line in front of the ice cream truck. The children were waiting for a bite of the popsicle with their fingers in their hands. This short film looks a bit absurd and gory, but when you think about it, the mother cut off her finger for her daughter to exchange for a popsicle is not the greatness of maternal love. For the sake of the children, mothers and fathers can always give everything they have. They want to raise them with flesh and blood, but on the other hand, the love of spoiling children by granting them anything they want without any bottom line is also undesirable. If there is a first time, there will be a second time. If you cut off the first finger, there will be a second finger. There should be a limit to everything. How to die children properly. It is also worth parents to think about the problem. Well, this is all the content of this issue. See you in the next issue.